Welcome, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of May 19th, 2022. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me digitally uh, through the internet, of course, Alex. How you doing, everyone? I hope this podcast finds whoever's listening to it good. Well, yep. hope your life is going great. Alex, hmm. how are you? I am doing really good. I'm chilling. I see you got the... I don't know if this is recent, but mm. the beard looks very nice today. Yeah, yeah, I got my... Uh, my I got my, uh, forbid, my, my wood. me to have nice beards. My wood, so my I can, wood comb. I can only... Dude, every, anybody can have a beard. No. Uh, no, no, you, no. You, you, ha- you, have to, you have to just work with it. Let it grow. Because it is... I mean, like, this right here bothers me. Mm. Like, I've never been able to grow this part for years. And it's slowly coming in now. Like, I, there's little spots that are coming in now to fill it up. And I'm like, finally, you just got to give it time. Life finds like, a way. I mean, they, it's weird because they even have those uh, uh, those little rollers to help follicles or whatever. Okay. I, uh, and I've, I've really? heard those work. Huh? Are those real? So I've heard those work really well, but I haven't tried it myself. I, I don't know. I, who knows? I, you get, I follow I a lot of beard people and stuff, and they oh, said okay. those, they, they, they help. Okay, and this is gonna be weird. What does it do? Is you just a it rolls so it, your fall? So yeah, so it it massages like all the the where all the follicles would be. Okay. I'm assuming it it like it it makes it to where it's easier to for the follicles to. This it's like you know the saying. It's like oh you know the more you shave it, the more it grows. It's kind of like that. Mm. Like you know it's it's like you're massaging all the. Where, I forget what these called the, the the pores or whatever for uh, the follicles to come out, and it makes it to where it's easier to grow. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know how it works. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> no, you know beard scientist, Alex. I understand. Yeah, but hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I want this twice the length. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so you want it like, like yeah, like this is chest. this is this is probably going on a couple months now, maybe six months. So I'm trying to go for a year, which is a year beard. So I'm hoping. Yeah, I know. A year? It sounds weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's hey, a hey, beard. Hey, I dig it. I dig hey, it. all the all 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 the beard enthusiasts out there, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure that hey, there's plenty of beard enthusiasts. I'm always I always am astonished when I do see the people that have like you see their mouth and there's just complete hair going around it. And it's, and it's just like all it's just they can get like just a full beard watching Ozarks and there's a character in the show that has that like the best I could describe it as like a, someone that is like lost in a desert island beard where like I you just, you like have, it's just you just it's like ravenous. It, it's, yeah, no, it's I get you. It's almost like it's a, a foreign entity attacking his face. Like it's yeah. just a, a a bundle of that's hair, how, and it's just that's how it is in the morning. It's it's just everywhere. Like it's just it's like up to like his cheeks and it's yeah, covering it's, everything. Yeah, it's, it's 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 like it gets everywhere. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I'm. I mean, I'm getting even to the point to where I can start curling the mustache, but it's not there yet. <laughs> Amazing. I saw. Yeah. Uh, who was it? There was someone where I I, I think I saw them at like a GameStop. And they had mm-hmm. like the quir- curly thing going in and mm-hmm. itself, and I was like, "All right, cool. That's dedication. Yeah. I, that's, hey, that's, I respect it. It's the mustache that I can never. This right here, and then like the nice like mustache I can never get." Well, we want to thank everyone for joining us this week. It's been a great month of content, if I'm being honest, uh, especially with yep. the retention of people continually watching the show and watching different episodes. We appreciate everyone tuning in this week as well. Um, and also thank everyone who has been checking out our other content. We appreciate that. It's been a, one of our biggest months ever. So we appreciate yes, that. Yes. Thank you. Um, if you want to further help that, remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. If you're on a listening on YouTube, if you're on a podcast service, remember, five-star reviews. Help us a bunch. And if you want to support us financially, patreon.com slash Now, let's do a little rapid fire. Gearbox has nine AAA games in development, according to Embracer Group, their new owner. This was on live about a couple days ago, uh, speaking in a financial meeting. Cool. Um, Embracer likes just saying how many games they have in development. So this is another one of those things where they just pay. They have nine things coming. Yep. So it could be anything, but I just wanted to bring that up. Um, Aspire also had a little report. Uh, they said that they will show the Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic remake coming soon. 
Uh, so be on the lookout for that. It says in the coming months, who knows what that means? I would assume before the end of the year, we will see something of Star Wars: The Old Republic. Yeah, won't be shocked if it's at the Game Awards. That sounds like a that sounds like an okay place. That's where you debut. Well, we're getting it. So. Summerfest as well. Do you think we'll see anything at Summerfest? Not for this, because they said coming months, as in like That's they true. they almost kind of hinted well, at further well, out. Like, okay, because coming months, I mean, that could be the next four remember, or five months. I, I mean, I that's the rest of the year. The actual quote was several. What was okay. It? it was like several coming, some, something of that nature. So mm. I, I, if they would have, if it would have said sooner, I feel like they would have been like, in the next few months, you'll see it. But they, they, ma- mm. they made sure it's several. So I, re- I think we'll see something closer to the end of the year. Um, who knows where? I think maybe Game Awards, maybe a PlayStation event, because it yeah. is um, supposedly a PlayStation limited release um exclusively on there it might be permanent who knows alex i don't know if you saw any of these but the callisto protocol released some screenshots of the games they look very good mm. now there, are, i think there's only like two of them but the mm-hmm. game looks astonishingly good like um uh, if yep. you're into like graphical sense uh yes. it looks i mean it looks like dead space especially when we just saw dead space last week mm-hmm. released some things it looks like the exact same thing so <laughs> yeah they're very, I'm, I'm so excited like I, I like i I have games. high hopes for this game. I, like I feel like it's I feel like this game is gonna be one of those uh underrated ones. Like not a lot mm. of people it, since it's such a new IP, yeah. people are gonna be like, ah, I don't know if I wanna get into this. But the but it's people who play it, they're gonna be like, dude, it's it's good. But people won't it won't don't won't give it the chance, and that's what mm. I'm worried. We'll see, we'll have to see. It is it is I mean, hey, it's technically an unproven developer, although they did mm. they do come from Dead Space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so people. I mean, I'm sure everybody who loves Dead Space, you know, diehard fans, whatever, they'll come and see this. We'll, we'll see. We'll have something to directly compare it to with the Dead Space remake. Apparently. So, yeah, it's a PUBG thing too. <laughs> that no one's gonna remember. No one's gonna remember. Yeah. No, no one's gonna care when that comes out. Remember that when, when they were trying to make that a thing. Some, yeah, some yeah. Too, which I, I, it's I like how, universe. Which I liked how Riot Games did it, where they're like, hey, you know, if you like um League. Like we're gonna mm-hmm. make other league games with developers. I loved that. This is kind of the same thing, but not really. And they want to no, be the yeah, same yeah. universe, which is like, like, come on. Yeah. I I feel like they said that like on the the highs of like a like a Marvel Cinematic Universe type stuff. So like they just want to mm-hmm. be in like the little talk. So we'll yeah, this see. game reminds. Yeah, this game is gives me uh, Alien and Dead Space vibes. So that's what I'm, and I love that. So. Saudi Arabia now owns 5% of Nintendo. 5% of Nintendo is now owned by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, a scheme set up by the country's uh, highly controversial, to say the least, Prince, uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman. This continues the prince's purchases in the video game industry and his attempt to modernize his finances. Uh, quite a strange thing to wake up to, Alex, uh, to read that yeah. the Saudi Arabian prince that murdered a journalist bought 5% of Nintendo. I just went, cool. All right, moving on. Yeah, Xbox Series S sales have surpassed the PS5 in Japan. This marks the first time Xbox has outsold a PlayStation system in more than eight years. Um, Alex, uh, I don't want to... A lot of people are making this a big deal. I don't think it is, um, only because we know that PlayStation has not been able to get out units. Yeah, it's, it's a is, thing where like, it's kind of like because there's so think, less of them, they have to go to something else. You stole the words right, man. I think this is purely stock issues. Yeah purely stock they'd be like oh if i don't have ps5 i might as just go get an s yeah yeah like i i i've the amount of times i've seen people looking for a new system and they're being a series s and they just go with the Mm. series s i think this is the same same thing oh is the series we'll just get the series s and then we'll get a ps5 later like that's kind of the thought process and i can imagine i can imagine anybody they getting the series s specifically for people in japan because they travel so much and they can get that screen that connects to it I feel like yeah, that's so a big thing. That's an interesting thing you bring up, Alex, because um, as many people know, Japan is hu- uh, hugely Huge small. Huge and I was about to say. Yeah. It is very small. Their apartments are incredibly small. Um, yeah. This room I'm sitting in would almost be an entire apartment. Like, you guys can't really get the scale. Yeah, they're of this very limited because, in space. Yes, they're very limited. So, I mean, when when they can, if they can get a small thing that gets to their TV, they're going to go for it. Now, I yeah. don't think that dissuades a lot of people from PS5s so only because PlayStation is just such a big deal over there. Yeah. But I wanted to bring that up. 
Um, let's hit rumor roundup. So, Alex, uh, mm. you're not in the Destiny community like I am. Um, there's been a lot of hubbub over okay. this last week. Um, so, the new season for Destiny starts Tuesday. We have not gotten any sort of hints or trailers on the new season. Generally, we would see something, say something about a week ahead of time, at the very minimum. And mm. that's usually that's usually like rare usually we see and hear a lot about the season we at least know who it's about we at least know several things about the mm-hmm. game um and this caused like kind of a little controversy is a strong word but a lot of well people... do you think it's a bad thing or a good thing i'll get to that that's a good question okay but um a lot of people were bringing up like you know well, i haven't seen anything what is it about which yeah. subclass is getting the rework because they're reworking subclasses mm. and they came out and mentioned Hey, we're not um, we're not going to show anything until Tuesday, and the they said that this this today actually because people thought since they do like a little community thing every Thursday that they would show off what the season's going to be, and they're not they're not going to show a single thing. The only thing they mentioned was that there will be a dungeon next Friday, and that's it. Everything else hmm. is we have no idea. So to answer your question on this is a good or bad thing, I was actually talking to a friend in the community that I talked to and I was telling him when hype is overwhelming mm-hmm. is usually when I'm sounding the alarms. I brought up several yep. things. He, he actually brought up uh, things like Anthem. I brought up mm-hmm. things like destiny one's launch, destiny two's launch just yeah. to stay, stay in the community. So yeah, I, like, I, it could be a negative thing. I welcome anything that, says we're gonna show you what we have versus we're gonna tell you what we have i think when some when sometimes people are being you know showing these incredible trailers trying to hype you up like incredibly going into the launch of of a new thing maybe sometimes step back and make sure that they're telling the truth about everything in this case they are saying absolutely nothing they're they told you they're not saying anything and to log in on tuesday if you want to know what's new and I respect and, it. I like it actually. I I like. Well, when... I was gonna go ahead. Well, I was gonna I was gonna ask you. Do, do you do you you don't feel like it's the same thing? So like you know when you have too much, it could be bad. But not having anything at all could it be bad as well? You kind of like kind of like have to meet kind of like in the middle. Do you think you'd rather have that or do you rather have nothing at all? That's a good question. Do do, do you want? They even mentioned that this is a test. They want to test how they can announce things. Yeah, because so they've is, always done too much, and that was bad. So now they're doing nothing. I mean, like, yeah. I, so I guess. I mean, hey, they told us about the dungeon Friday. Yeah, and I mean, really, okay. with the if this is a season two, so there's already not gonna. I mean, there's gonna be a good bit of content, but it's not gonna be a huge swath of content. It's gonna take me weeks to get through. So yeah. I'm fine with it being light, but I do agree with some. I do agree sometimes <laughs> not saying anything is annoying, but I just like show don't tell i like that mindset i i always bring yeah. up not many other developers did this but when fallout 4 did their reveal and released in like three four months after i liked that it it showed uh almost like um almost like a i guess a a confidence that's like oh, hey, yeah, yeah we we know you're gonna like it we don't need to draw we don't need to dwell on two, it two three years yeah a constant little trailer is here's e3 here's a new screenshot you know here's here's the now, game now do you think this could be it, does this work with other games for example let's say god of war we've seen that game once and we haven't yeah. seen it at all so with that and then, we won't probably won't see it until like close to launch do you think that's good with or that do you i think s- it's another case of you we've proven to you right yeah We've proven we did good. We we did great. Yeah, you have a good track record. I think when you don't have a good track record, you do have to convince people. Um, yeah. When Cyberpunk, uh, sorry, yeah. when CD Projekt Red releases another game, uh, they're gonna have to like <laughs> really earn some respect yeah. back. I feel right. Uh, yeah. So that like, the next Witcher or something, they're gonna be like, hey, we're gonna have to show this off because if not, they're gonna think it's just as bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to prove. They're gonna have to prove to us that it works. You know, like they're yeah. gonna have to do a lot of things. To yeah. kind of win back that respect, the, trust. the interest, yeah, the respect, the entrance, all that. Um, but the whole reason I brought this in the room roundup, although I, I did, I, I liked that uh, kind of 
talking point we just did there. I appreciate mm. that. Um, the the actual name of the season was linked in someone's LinkedIn page. Um, and the we don't even know the name of the season. So the season, if you don't want to know, skip 10 seconds. I will say it once and I won't say it again. So skip 10 seconds for right now. It's called Season of the Haunted. All right. Okay. Now, that could mean anything. I'm not going to speculate only because it comes out in like five days. So it's not, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you know, so, but I wanted to bring that up very quickly mm. to, you know, have something to room around up. There was more stuff to room around up, but I feel like it earned its own new spot. So I moved it around. Yeah. Um, one more thing in room around up. Uh, uh, Tom Henderson revealed a bunch of stuff on the new war zone. Uh, two kind of situation we have i guess is i guess it's warzone 2 also kind of a new game mode but it's a new map as well so there's so a, go ahead would this be added would this be a, is its own download or would this be added on to warzone this should be its own download because it's, it's as download. far as i understand as of in is, as like overwatch versus overwatch 2 yeah as far as i understand this is only for current gen systems i believe you're okay. not going to be able to play this if you're on xbox one Again, we don't have anything official. This is all working off of details off of people who are leaking these. So could you could you see them doing this with Fortnite, for example? There would be since Fortnite is such a big thing with seasons and things like that, like Warzone. Would you see them doing like Fortnite two? It's only next gen, and then we're starting completely over, brand something new. I think Fortnite. Or would they, Fortnite is almost like a trendsetter, where like yeah. whatever they do, it's going to seem like they're driving the industry that way. Because they're just, mm. they have so much of the. But this time Warzone's base. doing it first. That's true. That's true. But I think Fortnite with casual isn't the word I want to use, but it's more mm -hmm. casual base. They have, of course, incredible tournaments and fights mm -hmm. and things like that for money. So you know, it's a big deal. I'm not, I'm not trying no, to no, yeah, yeah. the importance of Fortnite. No, for sure. But. The way it is, it's pretty simple. It's not graphically incredible, right? It's yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's animations, pretty simple kind of things. Simple is, sounds rude. I don't mean it that way, but you know, it's not Call of Duty no, no, in the way it. that it's a thousand skyscrapers and you could jump off of them and crazy nonsense yeah, yeah. like that. But I, I do. I think it will be a while before Fortnite will do it. But I think it will. It will prop. But I think. I think. Honestly, in like five years, maybe, and even then, because okay. because I think Fortnite will still be there for last gen mm. people, but they will probably do some big update that's going to be only yeah. be available. Well, we, well, we keep getting up, we keep getting like updates for these new systems and not actual versions of it. Yeah. So yeah, like for example, like I was just on the PS5 yesterday playing Apex. Okay. And it was uh the PS4 version, and one of our friends was like, "Hey." Uh, did you download the PS5 version? Because it just because uh, I, I was saying that I was like, oh, you know, Apex kind of looks kind of weird on yeah. the PlayStation. You would think it looked better. And he was like, well, are you on the PS5 version? I was like, what? And apparently, you have to down like download the update, delete the PS4 version, and then it lets you play the PS5 version. But it's weird because it's counting as two different trophy lists as well. So it's weird. Like so, like right now, I'm working okay. on the platinum for PS4, so I can get the platinum for PS5, and it just pops because apparently it's an auto pop for that one. So, but right. it's weird how that works. So I'm like, why? Like, why can't we just get p different versions instead of just getting an up? Like instead of just updating, because it kind of makes it confusing. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. That is a little confusing, and that sounds like a very backwards way of doing it. I'll be curious. Yeah, that's like what. Yeah, I don't know way of doing that, but. Um, to get back to Tom Henderson's little kind of leak thing. So this is a direct quote from him uh, speaking about uh, Warzone 2's kind of mode. Okay. Quote, to be honest, the new Warzone 2 map looks more like Blackout than it does Warzone in terms of its layout. It's going to mm -hmm. be interesting to see how it all plays out. End quote. That's directly from his actual uh, Twitter account. Um, and there's a bunch of things in this article. You can actually go over to Experta and read everything he's got. I'm just going to give you some some kind of main points from the actual article 
So the uh, maps terminal, if you remember these, terminal, high rise, yep. quarry, yep. and Afghan are all places of interest on the actual Warzone 2 map. So those are going to be the kind of things that are making out the levels. Um, I definitely remember terminal, and I definitely this is remember Modern Warfare. Quarry. This is this is Modern Warfare 2 stuff. Yeah, this is all Modern Warfare 2 stuff. Uh, clearly, um, they're going to be they're uh, trying to trying to match it up together. With yeah, Warzone 2 with the release of Modern Warfare 2 remaster, you yep. know. High Rise is in the top right of the map and it's called, quote, Modern City, end quote. Quarry is in the top left of the map. Terminal is in the bottom right. It's called Airport. Afghan yeah. is near the middle of the map and it's called Caves. And Mountain Town is next to an observatory. Okay. And that should be, yes, yeah, that's everything I wanted to cover. Again, if you want to get a full thing, they're actually. Um, they're going to try and do like a loadout system apparently for this game. Uh to What? Yeah, so like there there might be actual loadout systems for the So you should, you immediately start with a loadout. I think um let me double check. Cuz you can sure do that already right. technically, but it has to be, it can't, it's not in the battle royale mode. It's in I think like, you can yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can yeah. do... Um, oh, hi that's High Rise. Okay, there's a picture of it on the record. I didn't remember what High Rise looked like. That was a good <laughs> map. Uh, let me see if I can double check this, because... Oh, wow, there's a bunch of things from the map. Yeah, so Strongholds. Is... Oh, okay, so this is something from the article. I misread this. So I'm going to read this verbatim from the article. Remember, Experter, give Tom Henry a click for this. Strongholds are located across the entire map, which of course is talking about Warzone 2, and will give players something additional to do instead of just buying your loadout at a buy station. There are around 25 to 30 of them spread out across the entire map, um, so probably just as many as a usual buy station, he says. There are several different tiers of strongholds, with three large uh, strongholds and around 20 to 25 smaller strongholds scattered around the map. Strongholds are typically guarded by AI and contain objectives that you need to complete in order to gain access to your loadout. Presumably, the harder the stronghold, the bigger the reward, and not all um, places will have a stronghold, but they will probably um, have uh, the higher trafficked places will might not have any at all. Um, apparently it was described as like a new dynamic way of accessing like loadouts and other features, but that is pretty cool. Honestly, it sounds a lot like, um, how Fortnite is, did their stuff where they have yeah. places with AI people and you can fight, uh, yeah. as just like a way of mixing things up. So it sounds pretty similar. Hmm. It sounds cool. Yeah. I mean, I'll definitely give it a shot. All right. Moving on. And this is actually the news for the week. That was the last of the rumor roundup. According to several insiders and news sites, Silent Hill is seeing a sizable return. Blooper Studios is going to be working on a remake of Silent Hill 2. It will have reworked puzzles, new endings, and will be a timed exclusive with PlayStation. VGC, which is of course Video Games Chronicles, reported on a new title in the series that was being shopped around with devs that will have smaller stories similar to a Dark Pictures anthology. So it's going to have... Um, that will actually be a new installment into the franchise versus uh, pr uh, the actual Silent Hill 2 remake, which is being uh, worked with by Blooper. And all this reporting does line up with uh, Konami ramping up its studio deals to work on their IP. VGC also reported last year that Konami is going to be working on new installments in their franchises like Metal Gear and Castlevania. So, Alex, even more mm. Silent Hill talk. Now, this is not like last time. This is multiple, mu multiple people saying the exact same thing at multiple websites. So this this is true. This, yeah, this for is sure. all true. So we're not now, even Silent Hill people, but what do you think of all this? So now my thing is if they're doing this, do you really think that the abandoned game is Silent Hill or do you think it's actually something different because could they really make Silent Hill remakes? And a brand new Silent Hill game on top of that? Well, or is it just too good to be true? Apparently they're shopping it around. So Blooper's working on the Silent Hill 2 remake, right? So mm. that's a whole other team working on a whole different title. Yeah. And then they're going to have a separate mainline game with someone else. We don't know who it is. Apparently they shopped it to um 
um, Annapurna, which is I, the people who made Outer Wilds uh, telling yeah. lies. And th- we don't know if that went through. It, it seems like it wasn't. Mm-hmm. And then they also shopped it to Supermassive, which are the people who made Until Dawn. And mm-hmm. they were going to make kind of like smaller stories <clears throat> set in Silent Hill. Uh, but apparently that didn't work out because they went to go make the Dark Pictures Anthology series. So. Honestly, mm-hmm. Alex, I. The only reason this excites me is I'm hoping they make other games. Really. Yeah. I'm not a huge Silent Hill guy. I'll probably play the remake um, and the whatever sequel. Yeah, I never that played the original remake. games. I didn't either. I think I watched yeah. my dad play one of them. I yeah. don't remember which one. I think it was the second one. Uh, but I, I didn't play any Silent Hill. But I, but this yeah. excites me. Honestly, I this excites me because if they're working on Silent Hill, they're working on other things. They're not going to yeah. just start with Silent Hill and be like, oh, let's make, let's make this game. So I'm hoping yeah. we see some Castlevania? Some yep. Ikaden? That's what I want to see. I don't really now, care about Silent Hill very much. Let's say, let's, say, let's say they're working on a Castlevania game. Okay. Would you want it as, as a Metroidvania game again, or do you want something, uh, you know, more 3D isometric like uh, like, like Lord, of, Lord Shadows, of Shadows or like a better? I want them to go back to the roots a little bit and okay. make a smaller title, figure out what dev you want, similar to Curse of the Moon that Bloodstain did. Yeah, because I was going to say, it feels like we've had a lot of those. That's why it's like we have Curse of the Mood, Bloodstained, and then all the remasters of the Castlevanias and yes, stuff. Yes, they've, they've done a lot of them. but And maybe that's proof that they're trying to expand like, wet people's whistles with the games again. But I, w- I want them to go back and, and try to make a 2D. See if they mm-hmm. can just have like a fun small game, like 20 bucks maybe. Have okay. those roots kind of revitalize, show off like, hey, you know, we're, we're serious about making games again. And then work on a big kind of triple A project like Lord of the Shadow. Let's make a big 3D. Make it linear. I don't think I want an open world. No, no, yeah, yeah. Just make it like a nice, like a nice story driven. Imagine, imagine. hmm, I don't know how they would do it. I was going to say, imagine the storytelling of Naughty Dog doing a Castlevania game, like a nice linear set focused Castlevania game. Like you play as one of the, um, you're gonna have to help me because I'm not familiar with Castlevania. The the main Belmont hunter people, fam- yeah, Belmont, Belmont the Belmont sit family. Yeah, thank you. Like maybe one of them or something. I'd love. I mean, hey, I'd love all of that. Any, any. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, just make a new game and make it good. Like I, if whatever Konami want. I what seems like Konami is very interested in just finding devs that want to make these things and then licensing yeah. it out, which I think is what they should stick to. Don't yeah. Don't worry about making any dev studios if you really want to go ahead but i think you just you're gonna make more money just yeah that's my issue with it. all of this so lately is like IP. yeah people are just making us like oh new dev studio oh new studio oh new studio why mm-hmm. like What's make it? games not studios <laughs> they're well they're having issues with talent right now you do not want to get into that so i just hey go go to these studios yeah. that need that need uh need some work figure out like who's top of the crop yeah get some games out and then Let's see. Metal Gear is the one that's that's going to be touchy for people. That's going to be the yeah. one that people, you know, I'm not a huge Metal Gear fan. I, I don't think I, I mean, I have never really played them. I played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and I played a Five. little bit of Metal Gear 2 and that's it. Well, you played Phantom Pain, didn't you? Uh, sorry. And I did play all of Phantom Pain, which was great. I have no idea what happened. No idea. Can't yeah. tell you a single thing. There was a crocodile man. I killed him. That's as much as I know. But yeah. the Metal Gear games are the touchy ones. If they're really going back and making a new Metal Gear, which I don't think they will, I think they actually will remake their games before making another one. Mm-hmm. That's going to well, be interesting. I want to see if people accept a new Metal Gear. Game well, there's a rumor of a movie for the, for Metal Gear, so I'm wondering if maybe they're trying to, if they're gonna if they're actually doing that. I know so, that I was know. Hint, um, uh, announced a long time ago. Is that still happening? I can check. Let me yeah, see. Can you check on that because that sounds like uh, the Mass Effect movie. That was like announced, and then just nothing ever happened. Yeah. So. Well, Alex checks that out. EA likes racing. An expert has every single racing game currently in development by EA. And um, it's as follows. Go ahead. So for GameSpot, it was on March 23rd, 2022. So it was just recently an article. It says, the Metal Gear Solid movie is still alive. Oscar Isaac gives an update. 
Okay. Uh, it says we're searching. We're searching like Solid Snake. We're climbing through air ducts. We're looking for the story. Isaac said. So they're still <laughs> the working f- on it. What the fuck? We're searching yeah. like Solid Snake. We're going through it. Cool. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, there's yeah, it's still they're still on it. The list is as follows for the EA Racing games: Project Cars Four, World Rally Championship, F1 2022, and F1 2023. F1 2022 is launching July 1st, by the way. And then Need for Speed. Now, this game is the interesting one. So this game has had difficulties mainly because Criterion had to pause development to go help uh, Battlefield 2042's development along. Um, so this one actually made it get delayed. So this Need for Speed title got delayed to this year. Apparently, it was supposed to release last year. So this this uh, expect okay. that Need for Speed game this year unless something else happens. And also, there's a Need for Speed mobile game that is coming out soon. It's going to be a multiplayer open world title that you can race against people. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. And then, according to uh, the expert sources, both Grid and Burnout do not have games in production. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, because uh, Grid, um, the latest Grid game, did really bad, so they just they just put it in the back burner for now. And Burnout. Mm-hmm. I, apparently is just the odd one out because they have so many racing games they're like something's got to give so they put that in the back burner but they you know they could remaster a burnout game at any point they want to they have so many of those alex you're a big racing fan any of this kind of excite you so i'm i'm conf- i mean i'm confused because there's just so much so many of these i'm like really like Project Cars Four, that's still uh, working. I'm surprised. I mean, they bought um... Need for Speed Mobile. I don't. I, I mean, like, oh, is a multiplayer open world game. They did that already on PC. It was called Need for Speed World, which I don't even know if that even did well. Uh, I think uh, I think we both know the answer to that. Yeah, you that's know. true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I had it on Origin and it disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Um. And, and then they, the new uh, Need for Speed. Just as a reminder for everyone, uh, EA outbought um. Uh, Codemasters from who was that? Take two. Remember, they were in a bidding war, and they outbid mm. um, Codemasters. So they uh, that is the reason they are now working on, of course, F one and Grid. Because oh, and Project Cars because they bought Codemasters. Go ahead. Um. So the rumor for the new Need for Speed it's confusing because the, apparently the the game is supposed to have photo realism. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, it was like photorealism driving or something like that with anime style visuals, and I was like, "What?" And um, do you remember where you read that at? Let me see. Um, let's see. I know. I know. Game Rant uh has a it says rumor new Need for Speed game will have anime elements. Uh, it says anime style visuals according to sources, but there's more. Let me see if I can find the thing where it says that. Uh, it had. It had. Here we go. Let's see. Uh. It says, namely, Grub recently came out claiming that the Need for Speed game would be a next-gen exclusive while discussing the topic of his show, Grub Snacks. Now, he seems to have learned, gathered more information about it, and seems to believe that the game will have an anime-like aesthetic to underline its visual style further than ever before. And then, there it is. Uh, he claims that the game would stick with a tried-and-true photorealistic visual style for the most part, but that would be also feature anime-style highlights. Citing car commercials where uh, like where cartoon flames and stuff were, are, are flying off of it. So let's say it's like photorealistic or whatever, but then like let's say you use nitrous or something and the and the flames are like anime style looking. Mm. I think I'm assuming that's how it would look. Yeah, it's not, it sounds confusing, but that seems like what he what he's getting at. Yeah. Where like there it, it's still going to be photorealistic, but elements will be in anime. elements yeah like so like let's say if you drift or whatever maybe like it, it like it does like some, some crazy sort of anime kind of like yeah, yeah. okay I, I, that's what's confusing because cool. for realism with anime that's like so different is so that's yeah, a white I mean, spectrum hey, he, he, i think everyone picturing that in their head like it it could be cool yeah but when's the last need for speed game that everyone was like that was good right need for speed heat was like kind of well that was good but that's yeah. that's it. So I mean, that's a lot no lot other hope of than me. than normal. Yeah, the last Need for Speed game that I fully finished all the way was a uh, Need for Speed Undercover. Yeah, I didn't even play that. I played there. I think yeah. I played like twenty minutes and went this ain't it and then turned yeah. it off. Um, and yeah. also to uh, quickly uh, go over um, uh, Need for Speed Criterion. So the the people who make. Need for Speed games actually yep. absorbed one of the Codemasters studios. 
So that was Codema- uh, Codemasters Cheshire actually mm-hmm. was um, absorbed. And that, that happened about a week ago. Like so, Kid Boo? Yes, like very much like Kid Boo. A piece of a piece of them fell off and it ate the other one. Mm-hmm. Alex, now you do me a favor. I have a link here. Mm-hmm. I want you to click on the link. I want you to read through it. Um, and I will ask your thoughts in a second. But while Alex does that, Ubisoft Plus is coming to PlayStation as a part of the PS Plus Extra and Premium that will launch alongside the service July 13th in America and July 23rd in Europe. This version is a condensed style of the original service that's going to be coming later. There's going to be 27 games on the platform with 50 games in total by the end of 2022. Two. The full version of Ubisoft Plus will, of course, come to PlayStation and Xbox at some point this year, but no date was given. And also, specifics of pricings was also kind of vague, I, I believe. I could not find anything along those lines. But um, uh, what I told Alex to look up is uh, these are going to be all the classic games being added to PlayStation Plus. Uh, and there's quite a bit. This is a via the uh, official PlayStation blogs. I'm going to go ahead and read out uh, these games. And me and Alex can just kind of talk it out and see if this is worth it. And then, um, Alex, we're going to circle back to Ubisoft Plus and see what you think about that. I'm actually, you know what? Before we jump into this, I want your thoughts really quick. Ubisoft Plus, what do you think? Mm. So, I always forget, with Ubisoft Plus, are you getting... the game or are you getting like expand like i always for because the last time we saw ubisoft plus like, i thought it was something like about game pass so like, so you have ubisoft plus you get the games that are inside of the service so you get the game but like do you get the expansion pass like the passes oh, the season passes for too because yeah. there was a, a while ago i could have swore i saw something that said like for oh like far cry but you get the season pass with it as well i think um i think i know what you're talking about i think that was um that is a here inside of their existing ubisoft oh. thing, I believe. so they have a pc version of this i believe already out let's see um if i remember correctly and if you paid extra you got like all the dlc along with it um i'm almost positive that's what it was yeah i'm trying to look at it right now because that's what my that's why i was confused because like uh let's see Cause it's, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Cause I could have swore like when I could say, like I said, when I saw Far Cry Six or, uh, like a previous one, it said like you can get, uh, the you know Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it comes with you know the DLC. And then yeah. I was like, wait, what? Almost positive that is. What oh I was yeah, okay. About, yeah. Where it was a tier yeah. inside of the service. Yeah. So, actually. Ubis, uh, it says uh, for the just the standard one. Come, it says it's in premium editions are included. Oh, so just the standard? I could have swore that. Was so it says Ubis. Or or is this is Ubisoft Plus or Ubisoft? Yeah, it says Ubisoft Plus. Sir, okay, okay, yeah, this is the same thing because right here it says PC access, or whatever, fourteen ninety nine a month. New releases available at launch. Premium editions is DLC season passes. A hundred plus games on PC. But and then that's the you get the PC Ubisoft Connect or whatever the set the mo- the other tier is you get the cloud gaming the Luna and Stadia with that yes so yeah so you do get DLCs with all of it yes now, so like, important to note they say a disclaimer at the bottom um, where premium and special editions of games are indicated uh, they may not include all premium content. Whatever gotcha. that means. I think that just gives them an out of certain things might not have it. You're probably just guaranteed the season pass every time, but you might not be guaranteed like a random pack every time or something. Who knows? It seems very vague. We'll see when yeah, games start it just, like, coming out. Yeah, it says, yeah, because it says, because one of the frankly, frequently asked questions is, so what games and in-game content will you have access to? Include, you know, just say Ubisoft, Ubisoft Plus includes additional content such as expansions and season passes. So, I don't know. All right. Um, and also, uh, it's called Ubisoft Plus Classics, by the way, apparently, is, is what the one is, that is bundled with PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. And uh, mm. that will feature standard editions of the games that are listed on um, the service. There's a bunch of them. It's like 27 games. So I'm not going to uh, name them all here. But if I can, I was going to try and give a few examples. I know Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I believe, was was like the big one that they showed yeah. off. I don't think we know everything. Yeah, um, so they'll give you the, so they will give you the standard version, not the premium versions. Correct. 
Yes. Okay. You, if for the PlayStation, because it's uh, apparently the, like if it's, the since subset it's included. That, apparently the subset that they're getting is called Ubisoft Plus Classics, and it's going to be a curated selection. Um, a couple standouts: Assassin's Creed Valhalla, um, Crew Two, Child of Light, Far Cry Three, Blood Dragon, uh, Far Cry Four, South Park, uh, both South Park games, Steep. It's a lot of them. Trials of the Blood yeah, Dragon, yeah. Trials Rising, Watch Dogs. There's much more that I didn't cover there, but that those are kind of the big ones that stood out to me. Division One. So, so, in, so, like for instance, you know, Division One, but you might not be getting Division Two, but it says they might add more later this year. So. We'll have to get more clarification later on, but it's just a, it's just, hey, it's more content you're going to be getting if you're going to be playing for extra or premium. So, hey, if you didn't play any of those games, congrats. Alex, mm. the classic games that are going to be added to the PlayStation Plus ex uh, extra classic games from the PlayStation and PSP were given out. Uh, and they read as follows. Ape Escape, Hot Shots Golf, IQ Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Siphon Filter, Super Stardust Portable. That, by the way, that is the only PSP game. Why did they? Why is it just one? Who knows? Uh, Mr. Driller, Tekken 2, Worms World Party, and Worms Armageddon. And then this is all. This is a bunch of. Um, they just gave me Vita games. Remasters, apparently. <laughs> no, yeah, not a single Vita game, by the way. These are uh, PS4 games, by the way. Ape Escape 2, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits, Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud 2, uh, and just a preference, these aren't PS4 games. These are like PS4 remastered for PS4, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Fantavision, Hot Shots Tennis, Jack 2, Jack 3, Jack X Combat Racing, Jack, Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, Rogue Legacy, Siren, Wild Arms 3, Baja Edge of Control, Bioshock Remastered, Borderlands The Handsome Jack Collection, um, Bulletstorm, Full Clip Edition, Kingdoms of Amular Re-Reckoning, and Lego Harry Potter Collection. Now, these are your PS3 games. Crash Commando, Demon Souls, Echo, Chrome, Hot Shots Golf, Out of Bounds, Hot Shots Golf World Invitational, Echo, Infamous 1 and 2, and Festival of the Blood, Loco Roco, Coco Reco. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name. Motorstorm Eclipse, Motorstorm RC, Puppeteer, Rain, Ratchet and Clank, Quest for the Booby, Crest for Booty, A Crack in Time, oh. Into the Nexus, Resistance 3, Super Stardust HD, Tokyo Jungle, When Vikings Attack, Asura's Wrath, Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2, Devil May Cry HD Collection, Enslaved Odyssey to the West, Fear, Lost Planet 2, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Those are basically all of your legacy titles coming to PlayStation Plus. Alex, mm. do you care? For like a handful, like maybe like five games. This is basically this. what's on PS Now. Yeah. If you go to PS yeah, Now, much. I think just about every game. I mean, just just them. Honestly, if anything, because you're not getting every single game anymore that's, that was on PlayStation Now. Are you uh, well, like like no? This is of, less. so a lot of games are actually leaving the service yeah. now. That is technically expected because you are transferring the service. So you know, well that's well that's the thing. That's the thing though areas. because like people will people think there's like oh well since you're combining I'm actually like losing all these games with PlayStation now. Like let's say for somebody who uses PlayStation on a regular basis. They're like, I had so many games on there and now I'm only getting like these handful, like versus the what I had before. So I am not intelligent enough on the service to tell you how many that they're gonna be missing. Uh I don't even know if it's that many. I do know there are a good bit of games that are leaving the service before this is coming out. I just cannot name you which ones they are. So do I mean I don't think I honestly I don't think that many are leaving that are uh, clearly noticeable because I don't see anyone talking about it right so we'll have to see if it's a noticeable um, loss. As of 2020, there are over 800 games available, with over 300 of them being downloaded to PS4 and PS5. And so uh, PS2, three, four games on PlayStation now. Uh, and out of as yeah, as of 2020, there was over 800 games. That's strange. I wonder if they're um, including different regions because there's definitely not 800 games on PS Now. I've looked at them all. So yeah, and I, yeah, when it says all PS2, PS3, PS4 games ready to Steam, I, this is on their PlayStation website. It says 
the PS Now game library is of over 700 titles. Interesting. It doesn't seem like that many, but I'll check again. Um, really quickly, PS Plus time trials. Um, if you remember, if you play for the top edition of PS Plus, you get access to time trials for games. Mm -hmm. Those are as followed. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, Horizon Forbidden West, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Farming Simulator 22, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, WWE 2K22. Uh, Playtime is only counted while in-game, which is very good. Trophies and save data carry over. And, um, you know, let's just as a reminder, they're going to be adding games to this collection. So, like, it's not like what we said is forever, right? Yeah. In the next month, you'll get new games. Um, mm -hmm. Now, there is a lot of PS4 games that I can name off to you, but I will not. Basically, almost every single first party within the last decade is going to be on this uh, thing. The, a couple standouts, um, Death Stranding, Director's Cut is on there, Marvel's Spider-Man, both One and Miles Morales, Little Big Planet 3, Shadow of the Colossus, Return of Rezogun, Last of Us Remastered, and Left Behind, Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection, Uncharted 4, Lost Legacy, there's so much um, coming actually from places to choose, so it's almost all of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, Control Ultimate Edition, that's another good one, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Mortal Kombat 11, um... Uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, which is something I downloaded recently that I'm going to play uh, to get some nice trophies on PlayStation because I love that game. Yep. But uh, that is everything on the service that is of note. Alex, are hmm. you a day one premium or are you sticking with your PlayStation Plus? No, I get premium for sure. Okay. So this, it, it, are, were you always sold or did this kind of... Yeah, I mean, I'm well? always good. Yeah, I was always going to get it anyway. Okay. I will probably be premium as well because this because I just like it's almost like having Netflix. I just like the option. I like being able to hit a button and like know I can do something on there. You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like I want premium for that basically same reason where it's like I know if I need a game to go play, I can jump over to PlayStation and I can turn on premium and mess around. So we'll see. I think I'm pretty sure I'll get this. Uh, is uh, get this day one. Um, Alex, did this sway you at all? Um, this this it it's an impressive lineup, but not someone that has legacy with PlayStation. I feel. I feel like if you're um, I feel like if you're a day one premium person, you've played almost all of these games. So do you think? Uh, do you agree with me for first and foremost? And and if you do, what do you think they need to do to fix that? Um, well, I mean, the all this, honestly, the main, the main reason I'm going premium is because I haven't played a lot of these games and I oh, want to, Okay. like, like the infamous games. I never played them. I want to play them. The Ratchet and Clank games before. I mean, I'll give, I want to give them a shot. Resistance. I've never played, you know, I, or there are games that I've, that I don't have access to anymore, which I like to try again. Like for example, fear, you know, um, like uh, the Ninja Gaiden or Undead Nightmare, like just I mean I probably have them on Xbox, but like you know if you don't have them somewhere else, like you know or Demon Souls PS3, we were just talking about the other day. I was like, oh I mean I played the PS5 version, uh, PS5 version. I was like, oh I would like to you know get some trophies on the old version or just to see the difference because I was in that binge. How am I gonna be able to play this? And we were like, oh we're probably never gonna play it. It's probably there it gone. is. I, yeah, I and that. here it is. I said that verbatim. Yeah. I said oh, it's probably gone because why yeah. would they port the PS3 version? I, I st honestly, I still don't know why they're doing it. Um, because they have a PS5 version. But hey, I'm glad it worked out for you, so you can play yeah. it. But but yeah, I, I was I was confused by that too. I'm like, oh okay, cool. Um, I I think it is a fine thing to launch. I think a lot of people got disappointed. Um, and I honestly. And I don't mean this in a rude way. I think it's their own fault. I don't know what you guys expected, if I'm being honest. Well, did you really think like this was going to be a thousand games or something? I, I don't know. I did not see a compelling argument on why this was disappointing, um, especially given PlayStation's track record. Uh, they kind of just kind of they kind of they, they have a very PlayStation way of doing things. Like think of the simplest way they can they can make a thing happen. That's probably the way it's going to happen. Right. And this is an example of them. This is exactly what I thought this was going to be. And it is. For sure. 
This is a quick report. Seems that The Last of Us remake is coming later this year. This is according to Jeffrey Grubb. He reported this on the kind of funny games cast uh, that uh, debuted, I believe, this week. Um, and all he said was, quote, this holiday, end quote, is what I have heard. So he has said this holiday is apparently what The Last of Us remake is going to be launching. Cool. I don't really have anything to add to that. Alex, what do you think? No, I'm excited. Honestly, it, it's kind. Of, I I kind of wish it would they would do it around Halloween because in the last of a story, that's when uh, the whole, everything hit the fan is around holiday season or uh, Halloween season. Oh, I, did, I, yeah, I do not know that. Yeah, in the game, it's 2013. It's technically when the game came out, and in 2013, uh, Hall, uh, Halloween is where the apocalypse started because when you go around walking through the stores, it shows all the Halloween stuff or whatever. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Microsoft is working on an Xbox Dynamic Backgrounds editor. Seems we can expect more Dynamic Backgrounds. There has been a tool spotted that is a background editor tool. To note, this is for dev use only, not for consumer. So this uh, can give you a little thing that uh, they want Dynamic Themes to be a bigger thing. Um, um, by the way, Achievers, if you didn't know, there is a subsection of your backgrounds inside of your xbox if you go over to your settings and then your uh personalization and then there are several things you can have achievement art you can have a custom image as your background etc etc one of them is i believe is alex is it called theme or is it called dynamic themes and it's called dan it will I don't remember dynamic called. background is it called dynamic background so click dynamic yeah. background and there's a bunch of different dynamic backgrounds. yeah there's like right like now there's stripes. like two there's like two halo there's, ones and yeah yeah there's, halo, there's an xbox there's, one uh i think there's a wasteland one like a like there's yeah a it's wasteland three where i was like really? there's actually sec they've actually added a new update where they sectioned it off to where it's like oh there's uh games uh it show it'll show the halos and the wasteland ones and then there's show like you know oh like you know art style ones or there's like gay xbox and it shows like different ones that each ones so like if you want a, a, a game dynamic background you go to the little game tab and it shows you all the game ones i did not know that so they yeah, clearly they are up. expecting a lot more coming because yeah. they would not have done that otherwise yep Qu uh, uh, uh this is a quick one ba uh, this was supposed to be in rapid fire i just did i forgot to add it battlefield 2042 removes 128 <laughs> breakthrough multiplayer on ps5 xbox series s and x and pc uh wow is all i gotta uh, say to that don't talk to me about this game I'm very uh, yeah i know right I, that's literally all i have to say wow it's like it's like they're trying to fix it they're like, yeah, there was too much going on. That's why the game's broken. So we're going to try to shorten it. No, man, you're, you're lost. Talk about another fall. F uh, just an unnecessary fall. How, how? How did you mess up? At how did you mess up Battlefield? How is that possible? It Literally, you said it. you guys were going back to modern, which is great. We're That's getting right. Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 again. Yes. It's like, and then no. that if anything, out. if anything, I rather play Battlefield 5 but, and then this. Yeah, Battlefield mean, 5 was way more fun. Yeah, I, I probably agree with that too. There's a few remedy updates. Um, Alan Wake 2 is in full production. It's going to be set for 2023. Uh, I'll believe that when I fucking uh, see it. I'll believe that when it's in my console. No. I don't believe them. I, was, I give it seconds. late, like holiday 2023, early 2024. Yeah, I, I don't believe that for a second. We'll see. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't see that happening. Main, main control game is in its early prototype concept stage, meaning 2026. Spinoff control game is in concept uh, stage. Uh, Alex, I would have to be honest mm. here. I thought that was much further in development. I thought the spinoff control game, if you remember, uh, which is like the multiplayer thing that they're working on in partnership with someone. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I thought that was much further along. I thought they were going to be uh, much later in the game with that. I, I thought that was going to be a little uh, bit. Well, uh, unless they took some time. And, you know, oh, it's like, here, some people work on this DLC, the Alan Wake DLC, things like that, to, you know, give it time. And maybe people are working on the Alan Wake game. And then now they're, they're like, oh, the people that are done with that DLC, now you guys go start the, the sequel. Hmm. And, then, and then maybe with the Alan Wake game, so they just, like, divvy off different projects yeah we'll have to we'll have to see i mean, let, let me let me circle back to that that's a good point okay max Payne one and two remakes are in concept stage as well and oh. then um their free-to-play co-op game with tencent is just saying making good progress that's all it says who knows what that means 
but it makes him good progress. Very vague with that one. Yeah. Uh, really quick, circling back. Yeah, Alex, um, when Alan Wake 2 is finished um, and it's in its final uh, stages, yeah, we're going to see that team move on to most likely uh, the, control. The, the control game and the spinoff the probably off. split in between those two. And then you'll you'll probably see Max Payne also, because I imagine that's going to be yeah. quicker. I wouldn't be shocked if we see Max Payne remakes before we even see the next control game only because um it is remaking two games but um i don't think they mentioned how big it was so it might just be a a you know relatively small remakes to it's get them out quickly. Like a pack. so as you know it's like oh uh, you know max, you get the max, max pain collection one and two or whatever so yeah, i don't right. know it's, that, that probably it's not gonna take if long. they're doing both games i doubt how crazy it is you know what i mean like oh, since yeah. they are committing to both one and two being remade i yeah. feel like there is not going to be a full remake i mean honestly i'm like i'm sh- i i mean i can see them i can see them doing like since they let's say like i said branched off they had people work on dlc they don't need that many people to do that so they'll probably like hey you guys go start on alan wake 2 get through cusp stage already get out the way so when these people are done now they're going to either help with that or start working on the control games. And then once that's, like you said, close to being done, they're like, oh, okay, we're going to start working on these Max Payne spinoffs in between the other stages of the other games. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, this is if if Remedy is able to pull off this, they will be one of the most impressive studios in the industry. Um, if because they're, they're working on like four to, games. Yeah, if they're able to make control and immediately go into making five different games all at once that shows a level of competence that you, that is pretty rare outside of a few studios so yeah hey i i'm rooting for them i love remedy i've loved them ever since quantum break so i hope nothing Same. but the best for that team for sure um this was another rapid fire again i just couldn't get it in in time god of war had an accessibility overview shown detailing several settings that we'll have at launch alex I want this to be a semi discussion with you. Okay. Um, lots of people are speculating God of War if it's coming out, et cetera, et cetera. I almost think that this accessibility overview. Do you, are do you think you can read into this? A lot of people brought up this as this might be proof that they are in fact think they will nail Holiday this year. I think they will. Do you think they will? Do you do yeah. do you, do you think that no, that like, no earlier though? I, I know I feel like they're gonna hit like November December. I think that I think if it comes out, it is November mid November. Like yeah, mid November. Yeah, like like, like for Black it's Friday, delayed, it's gone. Yeah, like that's like, like I think that's a that's a holiday game. It was definitely a holiday game. We're not getting it any sooner than that. But the question is. If we think it's gonna hit the hit the date, I. I th- I think so. I th- I mean they've I mean they've they've had more than enough time. They do have um I don't know if it was recent, but they did um I was looking at their Twitter. Um in their bio it says twenty twenty two for this game. So you know, we could yeah, no, in, there, yeah. we could read into that. It could mean anything. I mean it's that that's just a social media manager putting it. Yeah, because if they weren't because if they weren't slated for for this year they would have then they would have done the Starfield thing or the Redfall thing, but like hey, or like when Corey came out and was talking, he's like, hey, you know, we're still working on stuff, and I feel like we're there. He probably would have been like, yeah, we, you know, we wanted this year, but we're gonna try maybe, you know, early next year or around the same time, April, like when we did the first God of War, uh, unless something horribly wrong happens, you know, they, that's the latest I can see it is April, but I think it's gonna be holiday. They, they mean they need something if they don't have that they have nothing so but santa monica can do whatever they want yeah, so if I mean, they need to delay they're gonna say okay they're not they are not gonna push so if they need to delay they they will they'd be like we got last of us remake we'll be all right <laughs> uh let's name off a couple standouts from the um accessibility features uh subtitles and caption sizes um can be modified you have caption colors if you need different colors um they will say the speaker names um 
you can have direction indicators so it will tell you um you know if there's something if there is some sound it will tell you on the screen where it's coming from um you can uh modify the text and icon sizes you can remap anything on the controller which is incredible every game <laughs> should do that you can remap anything on the game there's a high contrast mode uh very similar almost identical to the um last of us 2 contrast mode where um, yes. if you turn it on like you're completely blue and the other people are red yeah it's so you easier to get collectibles like yeah. that I used uh, that for my uh for to get collectibles after I beat the game. No, no, you didn't. You did while you played the game, and I hated you for it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I hate you. Uh, there's audio cues. They will have sound cues when there's uh, on-screen prompts, and there's a bunch more that you can read. There's a whole thread on Twitter if you want to go check it out. And there's also, I believe, a PlayStation blog that you can check out. But those are a couple standouts. Um, we'll have at launch. We'll see if they make it. I mean, I'm I, honestly that's one of the biggest things for me uh, this year. Like, if it's just coming out, I just want to know so I can just. Wave off now. Some I mean, this year has been a delayathon, so I don't know. people. Some people brought up if they would have delayed it, they would have announced it by now. I do not think that is true. I think they can delay it whenever they want. So I don't. I don't think they could. They have to have announced the delay by now or not. Yeah. Uh, Fall Guys is going to be free to play. Um, that is coming June twenty first, and that is going to all systems. This is the date update, by the way. That is coming to all systems, so you can now play it on Xbox and switch june 21st and it will be free to play um also greedfall 2 the dying world was announced very unceremoniously via, via nikon mm. just it was just announced so there you go um the next gen witcher update was uh confirmed to be coming q4 of 2022 by cd project red so yeah, okay. cool i don't know why it's taking so long but hey it's coming at some point because they did it and they fucked it up as much as their cyberpunk so they're like oh shit we gotta fix it <laughs> Game Pass games, they will be coming to the service, and I will give you the dates for every game. Her Story is coming to PC. This is ID at Xbox title that is available today as of recording. Jurassic World Evolution 2, Cloud Console and PC, Alex. There you go. Little Witch in the Woods, <laughs> Cloud uh, Console and PC, ID at Xbox. This is available on day one on Game Pass. Skate, Cloud, EA Play. Umarangi. Generation Special Edition Cloud Console and PC, another idea at Xbox title available day one on Game Pass. And then coming soon, Farming Simulator 2022 Cloud Console and PC, May 19th. There you go, everyone. I know that's a very popular game, and I am not joking. People do very much. Oh, no, for game, sure. So I'm honestly surprised that it's this one and not last. I don't know if last year's is on there, but I'm surprised. Um, this is, I mean, I'm assuming this is the newer title. I'm surprised yes. it's already on there. Yes, and they do a, they do an interesting thing where like they don't make a one every year. It's like every like two or three years. So like they'll make like Farming Simulator 19, and then was there not one in twenty? Uh, was there not one in twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? I don't believe so. I think um what they did was they made like they basically built on top of the game. So there was like a premium edition that was like released in like twenty twenty. 2020 i think and then oh, 2021 yeah you're there right it's like an even bigger edition or something so they don't actually do like uh what you would assume they do and do an every year thing they almost like skip years they so do, like, there was there was a 20 but it was for switch only it looks like oh, that's weird yeah because there's i found one it says uh, it says switch I know unless this is supposed to be thing. nine unless this was supposed to be nine uh, unless this is really great photoshopped on amazon <laughs> <laughs> Vampire yeah. Survivors on PC is an ID at Xbox title May 19th. Floppy Nights Cloud Console on PC, ID at Xbox May 24th, available day one on Game Pass. Hard Space Shipbreaker PC, ID at Xbox May 24th, available day one on, on PC Game Pass. Sniper Elite 5 Console and PC, ID at Xbox May 26th, available day one on, with Game Pass. Cricket 22 so PC, another ID at Xbox title May 27th. Pac-Man Museum Plus, something I'm very excited for. Cloud console and PC, May 27th. Yet again, available day one on Game Pass. Mm. And then, these are all titles leaving May 31st. So as of May 31st, titles that I'm about to list will leave. So you can either play all these games and be done with them by May 31st, or you can pre-buy them for 20% off if you want to keep them. EA Sports NHL 20 on console. Farming Simulator 19, Cloud Console and PC. Knockout City, Console and PC, EA Play. Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Cloud Console and PC. 
Spell Force 3 Soul Harvest PC. Super hot. Mine Control Delete Cloud Console and PC. Yes, Your Grace. Cloud Console and PC. I will need I'm surprised. to. Go ahead. I'm surprised about Knockout City. Yeah, that's actually an EA Play title and it's leaving. I'm curious why. Now, isn't it yeah, free that's... to play now? Am I incorrect? Mm, I thought it I was. I don't remember. Let's see. I thought they made it free to play. It is. Um, but, uh, speak, uh, what I was about to say though, Super Hot Mind Control Delete is actually something I need to play now. Um, I meant to play that long before now, but since it's leaving Game Pass, I need to play it before it leaves. Yeah, see, yeah, I think it. Uh, yeah, I did go free to play. Yes, so it doesn't quite matter that it's on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's this right. this actually entered before it even went free to play. It was actually, I believe, it was still twenty bucks. I think when it came mm-hmm. to Game Pass, so mm-hmm. that is a reason that it's still there. Alex, hmm. that's the news for the week. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Now, I like to end the show just like I began it. Now, this week, I did not begin the show with my singular question that I do every single show. Is it because I forgot? Of course not. It's for another reason. Mm. I don't remember what it is. Now, Alex, Mm. I'm going to end the show with two questions. First one. What have you been playing? Hmm. What to say to this one? That's not the same every week. So, so no, you have not you I, you haven't played anything. So I I I be, I've started some stuff. So I actually started the SpongeBob Rehydrated uh, game. Oh, are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, it's actually pretty fun. I want to see if I can uh, platinum it because uh, just you just need to do everything. So it's just a little time consuming. Okay, but it's it doesn't seem too hard. You just, it's just you know it's just a uh, it's just a fun game. All right. Um, still trying to work through Neo. Long game. Okay. So it's that that game is probably my game that I'm just gonna go like you know oh, I'm gonna go back and forth too. Um, I stopped playing Far Cry just because I really want all I want to do is those missions. I, I have no motive to finish that game. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? I tried Apex Mobile. It's it's exactly mobile. what you think it is. Yeah, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> yeah. Um, they pick ledgers on a mobile phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. If anything, honestly, it runs better than the Switch version. I can give you that. I believe it. That's surprising. Your phone yeah. is stronger than the Switch. I guarantee you yeah, that. And, well, that and you can switch the settings on the mobile to make it like look like high, medium, low settings, like a PC version. It's pretty much the PC port on the mobile. <laughs> yeah, so like you could change the FPS thing on there. It's, it's weird. Um, but other than that, I mean, I haven't really played, um, I mean, Alex, we've been playing Sifu. a little game been... called Sifu. Yeah, I was gonna say, we played Sifu. Yes, this game is, first off, very cool. Very deep. I did not expect it to be quite as deep yeah. as it is. Yep, yep. And it is very difficult. Very difficult. I'm getting my ass kicked in this game. No, yeah, I didn't want to talk about it, because I, I feel, I feel like I'm not a gamer. But yeah, I know. Yeah. I have no fucked. shame. I am getting my ass kicked in this game. So yeah. I definitely need to learn the game. Um, yeah. It is very, it's not, it's not impossible. Like, I definitely feel like I can get good at the game. Yeah. But my God, it, do I need to practice? Because I, I, some, I'm missing something. And I just need to figure out what that is. And once I mm-hmm. figure it out, I think I'm good. But there is something I'm missing. I know there's like one little thing I'm not doing right and I'm sure it involves some sort of dodge or parry mechanic I'm not doing correctly. But yep. once I figure it out, I think I'm good. But this game is very good. Regardless of me getting my ass kicked, I'm still having fun. So I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, same. I'm not getting, I, you know, it's not like the not fun dying, if that makes sense. It's the, like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's the very like, oh, okay, this, the, I'm having a good time, even though oh, yeah. half the time. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, anytime destroyed. you get your death counter up, you're like, fuck all right let's yeah. start restart because I, I was like i need to be a younger age mm-hmm. i have to mm-hmm. you're like it's kind of it's kind of you're like challenging yourself it's very good. like i'm excited yeah. i'm excited to, i'm excited to get back to it, honestly like that's that's mm. that's all i want to play right now uh secondly alex there's a second question i'd like to ask you mm. what do you have queued up for the week now of course this could be a game a video game a tv show comic book a book now usually this is at the end of the show so it's a little cleaner of a transition because we can talk about things that we've been playing but you've already 
brought up, I assume it's going to be everything that you're going to be continuing playing, that what you just brought up. Um, I will quickly add that I've, I, I said at the beginning of the show, I started watching Ozark. Such a good show. I have like four gonna, episodes left, so I'm going to be finishing I'm going to start out. that this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Once and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to finish Halo today. Today's the, the, yeah, the, the season episode. finale. Yeah. The season finale came out and apparently it looked, from the trailer, it looked great. Like it's like probably the best episode because uh, of course it's the season finale. They yeah, have to yeah, wait they, for they, the last season. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, yeah, even when we were, we were talking about before, they already had season two before season one came out. So I'm like, so season obviously it's, yeah, season two's coming. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to start Ozark just for you because yeah. I want to watch it. It, it sounds good. I'm going to play Sifu and then maybe, I don't know why, don't know why it's calling me, but I might see if you want to do Returnal. Hmm. You let me know. The co-op. They added co-op to the game. I would definitely play that again. I've been, um, I keep I mean, seeing, I keep, I it popped up again on my like feeds and stuff like that, and it's seeing it. I'm like, it was a fun game, but man, it was hard. So I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe it will be better with co-op. Maybe, or it's just as hard. We'll have to yeah, find or, out. Yeah. The only one yeah. way to find that out is playing it. Yeah, um, for sure. I do want to get good at the game just so I can do the secret ending. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I want to do. So I definitely don't mind going back to kind of get a little better to get ready to do that final ending. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Um. What do I have queued? Now? You know, I want to finish those arcs uh, over the weekend. Uh, that's really my only kind of burning thing. I'm going to, you know, chip away at Sifu, play a little bit here and there. Yep. Um, uh, my next week is going to be more exciting than this week, obviously, because I have Destiny 2 to, to go play the new season. I will mm -hmm. report back next week on what I think about it. Um, we mentioned the title of this season. I won't say it now, just in case people want to go no, in blind, no, no. but... Um, I will have played um, uh, a little bit of the new season, and by the name of it, I have z zero idea what the, the actual season's about. So, you know, that's kind of exciting, I guess. Yeah. So, hopefully, you know, it is good. Yeah. Which I'm working on a platinum run like through certain games too. Oh, oh, uh, nothing, nothing better than than like scratching off a couple platinums on your list. Is there anything yeah. notable you want to bring up? Uh, it's silly, but of course, my name is Mayo. Three is out. Oh, okay. So you're doing, you're I, doing one of I did, those games. I already, I already did it. Oh, I did it in it. that. I did it like in an hour. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's. I mean, it's fun because there's like little stories, and, and they actually changed it. And I think they even hinted at my name is Mayo. Four. Oh, of course. Yeah, well, but um, it, yeah, I'm gonna work on that. Like I said, or before the Apex uh, trophy uh, platinum goes over to that and then i want to try rocket league because apparently it's supposed to be another platinum you can get but it's just time consuming yeah I, yeah you told me that i do not believe that is a easy play. i don't i do not believe that yeah that is like, it says it's I think it just says you just need to put time into it but it's just they're easy to get throughout I time i do not believe that you're it, so I, I, I i i guarantee you by next week no sorry i guarantee you by four episodes from now you will not have the rocket league trophies or platinum because I, if i remember correctly there's a trophy on there that is like, like play a hundred. It's like something crazy. Like play a hundred hours. Yeah, but that's not crazy. You just keep playing. You so you're gonna play for a hundred hours. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it in like now. I'm just saying eventually. Achievers, he will never get that. I, I, from in a hundred episodes. It could be happen. one of the easiest games to platinum. Uh, let's see. Win the season uh, championship. Win ten yes, games in a yeah. row. Apparently, this person said, yet after about three hours of play, they have 64% of the list done and seven more to go. Uh, let's Score see. six goals in a single game. Score a goal by hitting your opponent into the ball. Yeah, apparently, I just I need a friend to be able to play with me, so I'm going to drag you into this. If you ever wanted to go play on for a while, it's a great way. Let's see. Play against every team in a season. This doesn't seem like an easy platinum. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe that you can just game all of this. Like you could just cheat and get all of this. Look, to be fair, if I devote my time like a little here and there, like I've put almost three hundred hours into Elden Ring in a in a month, and that was me playing it. So I, I just have to like constantly just play this game. So like with Apex, I have way I over two hundred hours in that game. I gotta have my tears. So like I just gotta play it. So we'll see. I mean. I will say are you, you they, are you so okay are you are you giving me are you are you giving me a a time like if I start right now or it, it just ever 
Because I could bet you that I'll get it. Uh, you have a month. A month? Okay, then I, yeah. I will start today. I'll say a month That'll that be, you will not get it. That will now, be my I challenge. Say this is not nearly as hard. They actually changed a trophy. And I think this is the one I was thinking about. So there was one that said drive a total of... So th- so now it says 50 com- com- uh, kilometers. It is now... It used to be 500 kilometers. Um, that is a lot more. So they actually mm. changed this. Interesting. Um, the trophies requirements are glitched. It will unlock once you have covered 50. The game counters are broken and don't record distance correctly. The current count seems to hover around it. Oh, okay, so it seems like you can't really... But, um, but it looks like... <laughs> So I'm on PlayStationTrophies.org. They have uh-huh. um, a method that you could do. So really, so the method step one: start an exhibition game without bots. Step two, and it has a picture of this. So imagine a picture. It looks hilarious. Tie okay. a rubber band around your left stick. Loop it around the handle of the controller. Use the second rubber band to hold the right trigger. Alternately, you can wedge a coin or a folded up piece of paper in the gap of R2 you just, and makes it just press down. Circles. The result is your battery car will perpetually run in circles, ranking up your kilometers for far, far away. Step three. If the game is tied and the timer runs out, game switches on to- overtime until a goal is scored. As you won't be scoring any goals, you can definitely grind this trophy out. If you need to stop grinding, be sure to score a goal and end the game after that grinding session by pressing uh, uh, options button to quit the game. Um, means that those meters will not count, so you have to yeah. finish the game. Also, if you're having issues with rubber banding R2, you can remap buttons by navigating to the options, then pressing R1, and you can change it to whatever you want. That is hilarious. Um, that is hilarious. And they fixed uh, one of the... Uh, 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 distances apparently yeah. the distance wasn't being tracked on online so if, even if you play mm. online uh it will still count so um, i'm so right here, stack, uh, stack seems a little annoying because you have to collect 150 items okay um i don't know how hard that is i don't think it is because i feel like i have this trophy because it counts like i've never played rocket league so i don't know i've never played it and I w- i've always wanted to apparently so, this is, uh, apparently this one's kind of hard because okay. um so the free to play update items are a lot harder to come across as you can no longer un- unlock a standard item every game you will occasionally unlock items through the free rocket pass though this too is uncommon unless you purchase the rocket pass premium so you actually might have to put money into this to get this mm-hmm. you'll also be getting items for completing challenges especially when events are ongoing the easiest way to do this trophy however is to trade with other players especially those who played before the free to play switch over if you trade the same items back and forth between you, this trophy will eventually unlock. Unfortunately, to unlock trading, unless you play the game before free to play, you must purchase at least 500 credits. It's recommended to purchase the starter pack for $5, as it is the cheapest option and will also assist you with some DLC trophies. If you're not willing to spend money to speed things up, you're looking for a long road to platinum. If you're looking for someone mm-hmm. to trade with, check out the trophy boosting thread on this forum. Interesting. This is wild. <laughs> so you, it looks like you have to game look, the my, look, look, my name is Mayo is 199 and so was the other one. So I've put money into those for it. So, I mean, we'll I'm see, hey, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, you so, can definitely do this. So the you game. Have to, you have to game every trophy that's hard. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got you. So uh, there's uh, the website, The Gamer. And they, had, they, had, they made a list. And this is the 10 easiest games to platinum. Uh, I'm gonna see what your uh, your uh, okay. opinions are on these. Go number ahead. ten, infamous second son. Okay. By number way, nine. Just to, just to mention, clearly they are they are doing um popular games to platinum because it says no no really the, quick, because okay. um if I may if you make a ten easiest trophy list oh for there, sure there you have some that you can do in thirty minutes so this is yeah. games that like that are also good. Because yeah. there are terrible games that you could buy for two dollars, no, yeah, for sure, and get a platinum in thirty minutes. Just, so, just, yeah. just so no one like yeah. listening is like, this is nothing compared to the shit you could buy. No, for store. sure, yeah, yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Um, number nine, Persona Five Strikers. Uh, number they eight, Rock. Yeah, same. I need to go back to it. Uh, let's see. Number eight, Rocket League. Number seven, Walking Dead Season One. You just play the game. 
Number six, Order of 1886. The first time I ever played it, literally, I, I just missed one collectible, and I did, like I could have gotten the platinum first run. That game was so linear, it was hard to miss collectibles. Because I think anything. I was, I think it was just, it was just dark. So I think I missed one. There was one part that was just dark, and I think I know what I play. So I might replay because it, it was actually fun. I actually enjoyed this game. It's a good game. We'll never see the sequel. This was, it was a good game. This was the first PlayStation game on PS4 that I played uh, when I got my PS4. I it was the first game I got. Was the Uncharted collection. Yeah. Because I had never played any Uncharted. So when I bought mm. the PS... I think this is right. When I bought the PS4, yeah. I, I, no, no, because I played them on PS3. So what did I buy? I don't remember. You can keep going. Yeah. Number five, Ratchet and Clank 2016. Uh, mm, okay. number, f num number four, Life is Strange. The first one. Yeah, you just play the game and then do a collectible run, which is super uh, cool. Number three, Far Cry 4. Really? Far Cry 4? Um, I, can, I can read you what it says. Go ahead. Uh, if Telltale games are kind of kings and queens of easy platinums, Ubisoft game might be, might be the prince of princesses, as Far Cry 4 might be the most obtainable in the series of obtainable platinum trophies for the development team. Granted, many of the necessary trophies aren't as easy as simply finishing a mission. Yeah. There are collecting, there are a collection of trophies here that will require you to put at least some time and effort, but even if what is being asked of you isn't as isn't as simple as just beating the game you will earn many of these trophies by simply exploring the world and engaging in the available side content many of these trophies are focused on combat bringing down enemies and in a certain and in a certain way as long as you have a creative mind when it comes to fighting in far cry 4 you well earn the platinum all right cool i've never even looked at the trophy list for that yeah, game i feel like there's different endings there maybe there maybe maybe they don't count i thought there I were different know. endings in that one uh number two minecraft what? There's a total of 127 trophies. Yeah, that is not an easy platinum. So it says, yes, Minecraft doesn't offer you the benefit of trophies based on story missions. And yes, there is a total of 127 trophies to earn the platinum. But many of these trophies won't ask much of you as you play the as you other than play the game I've as intended. The achievements for the Minecraft um, on Xbox. There are a lot of easy ones. Like literally, yeah. there's one that's like You're a trophy for crafting a sign, yeah, yeah or eating yeah. a pork chop. Yeah, it's yeah. just random shit. But that yeah. can't be an easy plat because don't yeah, you have to? It, don't you have to like craft like a Nether portal and shit? Like that's not hard. That's not easy. I mean, that's yeah, not I guess easy. So. That's not harder than playing Life is Strange, though. <laughs> like. Uh, yeah, I guess. And then number one, you're gonna be uh, number one. Ghost of Tsushima. Who the fuck made this list? <laughs> so I was, that's why I wanted your opinion because I'm like, really? Platinum than Life is Strange. Life is Strange yeah. is you play the game and then do yeah. a collectible run. Walking Dead Season 1 is playing the game. You don't even do anything else. Wolf Among Us is the same thing. You play the game and you will get the... Why am I getting upset about this? Who cares? Anyways, I uh, will probably be alright behind you. I want to get some Platinums, too. I am yeah. level 301 on the trophy levels. So I want to boost that up a little bit. So Yeah, I'm, all, yeah, I'm only two, I'm two six, 268 now, because I was 265, and I plan on My Name is Mayo, and I've been playing a different game. It's a grind. So. It is a grind to get that level up. Mm -hmm. It is. Achievers, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. Remember... Like, subscribe, share with a friend. Patreon.com slash if you want to help us out financially. And like I said, you just viewing this is enough for us. So I appreciate the click. We will see you next week, next Friday. It's been a pretty quiet couple months. Um, and I expect the same throughout uh, the next few months. So stick with us as we are going to experiment with other things. You know, me and I'm sure me and Alex will watching more TV shows and reading books, mm -hmm. comic books, and things of that nature. So stick with us in these few notes because I'm sure we will have more gaming news to cover. Until then, though, go Chief. Go Chief.